Memorial Day night activities. The question is, will the rain hold off? Yeah, can people get outside? One more storm. Okay. And guess where it's headed? Less fast. Oh, oh, no. So hold on. It, it'll be through there, folks, probably about a half hour or so, but that's the only one of significance right now here in the eastern part of the state. You can see it moving through uh, central Omaha, more of toward the downtown area here. It is moving off toward the northeast. It will likely impact Les Fest here for about maybe the next half hour. I know festivities are forecast to pick up again around 7 o'clock. Could be some small hail. It's located um, along 42nd Street, either side of that, back out to 48th and Harrison. Could be a little bit of small hail there. This is moving to the northeast, but again, the good news is once that goes by, we're done. So if you're waiting for that storm to go by, good idea. Could be some lightning with it as well. And uh, again, it's moving quickly out toward the northeast. Not much hail left in any of these storms, possibly in that one. Again, there may be uh, some small hail as it continues on toward the northeast. And basically, that's about it. The hail swath has really decreased. Haven't seen much here over uh, the last at least hour to hour and a half. If we take a look at what's happening across the area in terms of threat tracker, we still have the possibility of storms during the early morning hours tomorrow. Around 2 a.m., 2 to 3 a.m., latest models are correct. Wednesday and Thursday, though, the whole pattern begins to settle down. Outdoors right now, again, temperatures influenced by the late day storms. You can see southwest Iowa into the eastern part of the state, down toward Nebraska City, 60s and 70s. Back out to the west of us, readings are in the 80s. We have cleared out here, so that's good news for activities at Les Vest, 76 degrees uh, right now. Uh, we do have a south wind currently at 10 miles an hour as most of the rain is pushing out toward the northeast. Still some high clouds remaining, but even those should be moving out here over the next couple of hours. Then the attention turns back to the west. Severe thunderstorm watch in effect until 10 o'clock just outside of our area. We're watching this line as it moves in after midnight tonight again. Latest models brought it through around 2 to 3 in the morning. Uh, and again, some of these may be locally strong, but they're forecast to move through fairly quickly. Tomorrow morning, we begin the day with readings in the 60s as we head toward lunchtime, lower 70s. Still some showers around. Then in the afternoon, look for highs around 75. For tonight, threat tracker still moderate, watching that line out to the west, a so low 63. Tomorrow, some showers and a thunder shower and a high of 75. Over the next three days, the whole pattern finally begins to settle down Wednesday and Thursday. And for that matter, uh, for the balance of the week, actually the forecast is looking pretty good. Uh, some warmer conditions ahead of the next front on Friday, but then as we head toward Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, 